So we just got to Wesselton West Heath and we're going to go exploring. So get ready for a few good little clips. Be some ramblings, I don't know. Uh, depends on what I depend talking about. But otherwise, yeah. So we've just got to the end of the first path. That is it there. Lovely little thing that was. And uh, so many of these purple flowers everywhere. It's lovely. Right, we're just strolling along. Um, which way should we go? Let him decide. Oh, by the looks like they burn a bit of this down. I don't know. Probably help clear something out. Okay, let's go down here. So we're going to go to the right and see what's down here. Whoop. Some sort of barrier. Well, we can waylay it, so that's all right. Let's go and have a little look, shall we? Wow, this is interesting. Ah, okay. It's not interesting. It was just a watery thing, water uh, reserver thing. Coming in. Hey, good boy. Oh, there's an archery course there apparently. Mind you though, I suppose it's a good place to have one really. Out in the middle of the wood. So we've just come from down this little path here. There's one up there, but I don't think we'll go up there because it says caution archery course again. We can either go up here, but I think my dog wants the shade, so we're going down here. Don't know where this leads out to. But it seems a very nice area. So we're just having a rest for a minute because he's decided he's worn out. By the way, that weird dodgy leg there sticking out uh, is because he got hit by a car when he was younger. But yeah, he, he does well on it. Look. Ah, I think that stopped rabbits getting to the tree. There's another one there. Oh uh, yeah. If you can see it, but where that tree is, just in the horizon of it, is the beach. So we're nearly there. Turns out we're up some place. Don't know if you can see it in that little black right in there. Uh, Sandlings Walk. That is what we did. And uh, yeah, we're just coming out to a road now. We've got a nice little church, which we drove past earlier, but I didn't film that because, you know, and there's a graveyard there. Out wave. Up on top of the cliff now, as you can sort of see, and uh, I stopped off at the cafe. Whoops. Yeah, I stopped off at the cafe, and uh, I was just wondering, you know, I was just like, uh, do you have any water at this one? They were like, yeah, there is in the fridge. They told me I could bring a pancho in there. I was like, what? So yeah, so hats off to them. I really like them. Really like, oh yeah, and I bought a Calippo, Calippo, and I bought a bottle of water for him. But yeah, they let me put my dog in. I was like, wow, that is such a rarity to find somewhere that you take your dog in. Even if it is just to get a bottle of water, but you know, he, he, he thoroughly enjoyed his bottle of water. So yeah, I, I hats off to him, I can't recommend me further anymore.
Okay, we've just reached the Friary Ruins. Sorry, I had to read what it said then, because in case I go wrong, I didn't want to insult anyone. So, let's go have a little look, shall we? Oh my god. Alright, so there, it shows a skeleton and boxes and coffins. It says, Objects found on the Greyfriars site by Suffolk County Council, Archaeology 1999. So, that's very interesting. So, that's what it used to look like there. And what we've got left is the refectory and the kitchen. Ah, interesting stuff. Okay, so somewhere over there used to be a building according to the Elizabethan map. And what's that say? The town ditch, okay. So there's a ditch here as well. No, okay, that's interesting. So the original southern boundary was there. So you had a main cloister, which I think is the right way of pronouncing it. Chapter house, infirmary, warden's house, and guest accommodation. Wow. Okay. Interesting. So this is from the 13th century. So this last grey thing I looked at earlier, that's there. We walked down to here and now we're over here. And we just walked past all this bit here up here. And we're probably on the beach there. So our next place is here, which is over there. So yeah. Oh, he's having another wrestler. Wow, well, yeah, poor old boy. Oh, let's have a little look, shall we see what's through Okay, so, oh yeah, okay, right, we're back on the road just to, ah, maybe I should have come through this way, so it would have been better to see first. <laughs> Pancho's like doing this weird staring thing through the gate. I wish I was the other side to get a picture of that. So, we just got to the Gallo Seal and open space. I filmed this earlier. Um, you'll see in a minute where we're from. Because I thought you couldn't go in here. Well, turns out you can. So, this is the first for all of us. Well, for me anyway. So, you've got a field up there, walking over there, all the way down. No. Okay, so, that was a nice little walk around the field there. A gallows field, I think it said it was called. Okay, so we carried on. Oh, I don't know if you can read that sign. There's the heath up there. You should be able to read that one. Eh? Oh, yeah, there's heath up there. And we're still going because we've got to try and find this farm track to get us back down. We're back on this path now down to the. Oh, whatever path it was, or something there. There's a path just the other side of the road there to take you up to Dunwich Heath. 
Right, so we're on last length now. This is the path we all started on. And now we're heading back. So we're nearly there. I'm starting to think maybe I should put a bit of sun protector on or something because I'm starting to feel the burn. But in all fairness, I have my hat, so I'm alright. This is sort of a review bit of the walk now. It's uh, been really lovely, been very interesting. With all the little fields, that, well, fields I didn't even know of, which is the gallows. Um, which is a very interesting story according to the board by the looks of it. I'll read that when I get back. Uh, there was um, the beach which was nice and bluey and greeny. Uh, it's just been a nice reading, little walk really for a Sunday afternoon. Well, morning afternoon. If you liked this, well, this walk-in vlog, which you get to see quite a few weird little landscapes and things that I find interesting on walks. Give it a like, give me a sub. And then you can just follow, see what else I walk and do. This is Farnham 95. And uh, yeah, hope you like it. Bye.